Hey, welcome to the Let's Get Loud podcast. This is a solo podcast episode with A. How are you guys? All right, I am recording this in real time. It is April 5th and I am going to hit send out to the world. I forget what the, the, the proper word is. We're not proper over here. Uh, when it comes to really anything, we're scrappy. That's what we are. But I wanted to give you guys a weight loss update. And I actually have a lot to tell you guys. So buckle in. All right, everyone. Okay. Where do I start? Where do I start? So really this started for me after I was in Hawaii, I really wasn't feeling comfortable in my skin. Um, I re- you know, just going to the events, wearing outfits. I just didn't like the way that they felt and I wasn't comfortable. And any of you listening to this have ever felt uncomfortable in your skin, you know, that feeling. And way back when I first decided to join your weight loss and literally change my life, a big piece of that, my aha moment, I will never forget it, is I was getting ready for an event um, and I couldn't find anything that I felt comfortable in. And I remember trying on 37 outfits. I'm sweating. And my husband says to me, you look fine. I'm like, no, I don't. And it's not about looking fine. It's not about what my husband thinks about me. It's about me. And only you can decide what feeling comfortable in your skin feels like. Like only you are able to decide if you feel comfortable in your skin. So after that moment, a big piece of my why was for losing the weight was feeling comfortable in my skin. And when I started to feel comfortable in my skin again, I was like, oh my God goodness. And I don't know if I'd ever felt comfortable in my skin because I was young and I was not appreciating my body. And I just, as an adult, hadn't ever felt comfortable in my skin when I started my weight loss journey with your weight loss. So that was a big piece of my why. So fast forward to literally seven years later. And I, over the last two years have actually gained about seven pounds, which again is no big deal but it, I felt it. It's, it's seven pounds. I felt it. It felt different. I don't like the way my clothes fit. Most My clothes still fit. They just fit different. And also another piece of this was, sure, I gained seven pounds, but like, if I don't make a change, is that seven going to turn into 17? And so I just really had this nagging feeling that it was time to make a change. Now I'm also 41. So things have changed in my body, things have changed in my life. And so for me, in it was my first time attempting weight loss in my 40s, which might be a whole nother podcast because yes, next week I'll come to you guys and talk to you about my experience of losing weight in my 40s versus my 30s. Okay. Um, so because I don't want to cloud this, I want to just really stay on track here. That's my pep talk to myself, staying on track, staying on track. So I came home from Hawaii. I'm like, I'm going to lose weight. Okay. So I start to just create more awareness, do make a few little changes. And do you know what happens in February? Absolutely nothing. The scale doesn't move. And I think, oh, shit. Like, what's up? What's happening? What I used to do isn't working anymore. And, you know, am I broken? What is up? So the very end of February, I said, okay, let's figure this out, Alicia. Let's really increase our awareness. And I took a week to keep my life the same, but increase my calorie, my awareness of my calories in. And what I concluded is on average, I was probably consuming 2,400 calories a day on a regular Monday, then plus weekends. And so I was like, okay, oh, do you know what happened? You just are not in a calorie deficit. And because I had built my new life for years and years and years, the changes were so small that it's like I couldn't really see what I was doing. So what was required for me to figure it out was patience and awareness. And I'm going to say that again, patience and awareness. So once I kind of unlocked for myself, I was like, okay, no big deal. You're just consuming more energy than you realize let's do something about it. Let's make some changes. So then when I came home from my trip to Mexico in March, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. 
And so I started making some changes and happy to report that I lost two pounds in March. And that includes a week in an all-inclusive resort. So like, yes, please. Like I was two pounds less at the end of March than I was when I went on my trip. And it's only April 5th and I'm down another pound. Now I don't want you guys to get caught up in the weight. And maybe you guys are listening. You're like, you're so excited, Alicia, about three pounds since the end of January. Yes, I am. I am not in a rush. This is not a race. Do you know what I'm happy about? There's progress. I don't care about what the scale is saying or what the number is saying. What I care about is the scale is giving me the feedback that I'm looking for. The trend of the scale is going down. Those changes you have implemented into your routine are slowly creating a calorie deficit. That's what's important. That was the message. Now, I also need to tell you guys that weaved into this whole journey of mine, I'm reading this book. And I'm reading this book for business. So it's called the 12 week year. And the intention is for how to teach business owners. And I was reading this book for beauty counter to support my team and to grow my beauty counter business. And so um, the intention of the book is for a business to get the same results that they could get in a week in a year in 12 weeks. And they use some of the momentum, let's say from January 1st. Um, and many other ideas to get you those results. Well, as I'm reading the book, I'm like, this is what I need for my weight loss. And as I'm reading the book, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to create a 12 week program for our members. So I, it's important for me to mention that as I'm figuring it out for myself, and it's almost like I was on a new weight loss journey, you guys. It had been years since I had been on a weight loss journey again. And so much had changed in my life. When I started losing weight, first with your weight loss, I had little kids. I was 30, how old would I have been? 33. I had a full-time job outside of the home. Um, couldn't pay my bills. <laughs> you know, I had three kids in full-time daycare. A daycare bill was $2,400 a month. It was before, um, you know, standardized daycare costs. And I was in a very different, I was living a whole different life. And so it's, even though I've done a trillion weight loss journeys, this was the first weight loss journey with this life being 40 with my current job, with older kids. And so I needed to give myself time to figure it out. And this book has been incredible. Okay. I'm going to come back to the book. I'm going to come back to what I've created, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I did. Cause you guys are probably like, tell us everything, Alicia. Honestly, guys, here's the thing. I've been saying this over and over and I'm going to say it again. There is no magic. It wasn't like, oh, I started fasting and the flick switched or, oh, I started having 75 grams of protein or like there's no magic. Please stop searching for the magic. We have this thing in our brain where we romanticize the next diet and we think for some reason on this next diet or this next plan, it's going to be so much easier. And we have, there's, there's a, a thing in your brain. It's called the... Um, it's called the cycle of change. We're going to talk about it in the course. Okay. I need to tell you. Okay. So while I'm doing this, I am like, oh shit, I need to create a course. So it's created. I mean, there's some tweaks that need to be done still, but it actually launches today. So you can purchase it today. It's a 12 week program. It's $139, which is like a very, we always want our content, our courses to be accessible. We want them to be accessible and that's why they're priced that way. So it gets you, it gets you the 12 weeks, everything. It gets you also all the access into the Your Way Weight Loss stuff, all of our other content. But if you were signing up for the 12 weeks of action. So anyways, after I, I release this podcast, we're going to launch um, the 12 weeks of action plan as well. We are all starting together on April 15th. So even if you purchase it today, amazing get in the community group, start to kind of get your feel for how everything works in your weight weight loss. But our actual 12 weeks are not going to start until April 15th. We are all starting together. It will be the first coaching session. And it is going to be about getting out of your comfort zone and just the intro that you need to get the results that you've been looking for. So literally this course was created by me 
to get me results. And I want, and I'm getting those results and I need to share it with you because you also deserve the results. You deserve to not feel broken. You deserve to not feel frustrated. You deserve to feel comfortable in your skin. So, all right, back to me. So no magic consistency, which is basically what we are going to focus on in this 12 weeks. We are going to identify your goal first, and then we are going to identify the most valuable actions towards that goal. Listen, you could list 25 things that you could do today that could help you lose weight, but let's identify the ones that are going to give you the results fastest. Now, as you guys are listening to this, you're like, Alicia, this doesn't sound like you listen, there's still going to be some mindset work in there. And we're going to filter the things on the list. Do you know what's not allowed on the list? Anything that's there just for weight loss alone. So we are not doing this for weight loss alone. We are doing this to be the person that we want to be. That's what the list is going to look like. Then we're going to pick from that list, the things that are going to get you the results. And then we're going to track those things. Listen, this might seem harsh, but you are nowhere near as consistent as you think you are. We as human beings are terrible at estimating our efforts. We are not estimating anymore. We are going to have some math. We're not counting calories. We're counting our behavior. And we're going to start aiming for 85% consistency. That is where the magic happens. And if you're not getting results when you're at 85% consistency, then we're going to change the actions. But if you're not at 85% consistency, we're going to focus on being more consistent. Do you see? When you're not getting the results, it's one or two things. Number one, you're not being consistent with your plan. Number two, you your plan needs tweaking. 90% of the time, it's just because you're not being consistent with your plan. Consistency is massive. Consistency is what is going to get you results. So let's figure out how to get you to be consistent. How did I lose three pounds? Consistency, not giving up, staying connected to my goal. Okay. Can you tell I'm passionate about it? Can you tell I'm excited about it? Listen, I, I, I keep saying, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about me, but here, here's the thing, guys. Everything that I'm going to share with you in, in the next 12 weeks within the membership, within this course is going to be with the intention to get you the results that you're looking for. There will be some tough love. There will be some kicks in the ass. This program is for people that are tired of making excuses, for people that are willing to look at their current environment and figure out how to achieve their goals with the resources that they have available to them. People that are done being the victim, people that are ready to get results. And that will require effort. Now, when I say effort, I don't mean I'm not going to ask you to go for a run. I'm not going to ask you to eat cottage cheese. I'm going to ask you to create a vision for yourself and to set some goals and to create some action items that will unlock those goals, those results that align with who you want to be and your values. And I want you to focus on those. So it's still going to be created your way. You are still building this your way, but there's going to be guidance and our focus is going to be on consistency. So if you are listening to this, you're like, oh God, that's me. I'm like, not consistent. This is what you need. This is what you're looking for. And if you're just like, you know what? I want to up my results. I want more results. Let's do it. Okay. So back to me. Here's what I did specifically. Okay. So remember what I tell you, there's no magic in what I actually did. The magic came that I stayed consistent with what I was doing. I tracked my behaviors. I looked at the percent in which I was performing and realized that I was not as consistent as I thought I was. And then I just focused on changing and tweaking my environment to facilitate more consistency. Number one was uh, protein. So just prioritizing my protein. Meal prepping has been huge for me because that is pre-portioning portions for me and finding it a lot easier to have portion awareness when things are pre-portioned for me. It is also allowing me to choose more nutrient dense options because I, at the end of the day, will just choose what's quick. I, I just will. And often that leads me to mindless snacking, not feeling satiated and not eating a lot of nutrients, not very much protein. And that wasn't serving me. So that whole, that's kind of what I did with my food is I increased my protein. I'm not counting my protein. I just consciously 
creed. It said, I will consume more protein. I, I just, I just am trying to be more purposeful with my protein. And here's the thing, everyone, if I'm getting the results that I'm looking for without counting anything, amazing, then I keep going. But if it's getting to a point where I'm not getting results, then I go back and I tweak and I adjust. But right now I'm not counting anything. I just increased my protein, made sure that I'm prioritizing meal prepping, choosing more nutrient dense options. So that's basically what I've done with my, my um, nutrition. There's one little thing as well that I wanna mention. And this is coming to you in the course as well. And it's called greatness in the moment. So there's this concept that we think that basically we don't value in the moment decisions for those big results. So let's look at like a um, Olympic athlete, okay? That moment that they get their gold medal, that is a moment, okay? That's not the moment they were great. That's the moment we recognize that they were great. Do you know when the moment was when they were great? The morning that they got up and they didn't feel like it. The time that they they took the extra time to make the chicken to have the protein for their bodies. The time they choose to do that one extra minute sprint. That's what makes them great. And that's what's going to make you great. And that's when it's going to get you the great results. And so there's, I didn't even realize how many small opportunities every single day Every moment I had to be great decisions I had to make. Do I grab another chocolate? Do I not take that and grab this? Do I, do I, do I, do I, do we, do I? And just to, taking a minute to recognize the opportunity that we have, the moments that we have every single day to be great. So I just tighten things up a little bit with those extra little bites. Okay. Let's talk about movement trying to increase my steps. I definitely don't do as many steps as I used to. I, I, you know, my kids are not little anymore. They, they don't need me as much. So I'm not on my feet as much. I work from home. I sit at my desk all day. And so increasing my steps a little bit, I actually started running a little bit. I got the Peloton app. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it for running. I do a 20 minute run, like once we there, I guess. Um, but it's exactly what I need. Gets the heart rate up get steps in and I've been weight training. And so with a goal, and that goes with my protein as well, with a goal to keep or gain some muscle because as we age, but this will come more on the after 40 podcast, um, as we age, we start to lose muscle tone and muscle uses more energy to just live your life than other tissues. And so the more muscle you have, the more energy your body requires to just function. So if I can work and making sure I have more muscle on my body, that is going to help me, but that's a long-term approach. Okay. That's for the future. So my movement, my nutrition, I'm, um, consuming less alcohol. Okay. This one was a big one for me, guys. It's something I've been flirting with a while for a while. Something that I've really been thinking about. Basically, I don't sleep when I drink alcohol anymore. And that was really, and I found that as I've aged, not having sleep is a lot more impactful than it used to be. And so I've just made the choice to consume less alcohol. Now I'm really letting that one take it one day at a time, one week at a time, assessing what's worth it to me and what's not, and kind of see where that goes. But I've made some significant changes in that department. And I am sure that it is a cog in the wheel of my results. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That's pretty much it. I'll collect my thoughts for the podcast next week. And if you are 40 and above, you have to listen to this because I've, I've learned so much. As you guys know, I'm a lifelong learner. I love learning and hearing about other people's experiences. And so what I've been doing is listening to podcasts. Listen, I wasn't ready to hear the word perimenopausal. I just wasn't. But then I was like, you're turning 42 this year. Like, you know, full blown menopause is the word menopause actually describes when you're a day and a year past your last period. So most of you will go through perimenopause up to 10 years before that. So it's before you lose your period. So it makes sense that I'm in perimenopause, but I wasn't ready to hear those words. I didn't want to know that I was, I didn't want to accept it, but now I'm like in the acceptance phase and it's instead of fighting against it, it's like, okay, let's fight with it and let's figure out what this is going to look like for me now that I'm losing weight in my forties. So there we are. There's my update. I've lost three pounds. I feel incredible. I have more energy. I'm super excited. I 
really have a system right now that is getting me the results that I'm looking for. And I'm beyond excited to share them with you guys. So if you enjoyed that podcast, if you want the information on the 12 weeks of action plan, send me a DM right now and say me, I want results. Say I am ready for the kick in the ass that result Alicia is going to give me. And really fun, the 12 week program takes you to the end of June. So it brings you right into summer. Think about that. Imagine going into summer, just feeling that little bit more comfortable in your skin. I know that that's what I'm going for, what I am going for. And I am excited and I'm happy to be able to share it with you guys. Okay. Have an amazing day. I can't wait for all your DMs asking for results, Alicia, to give you the kick in the ass that you want, that you asked for, that you're ready for because you want results. Bye.